morning, good afternoon, good evening, fabulites. It's Angela with another edition of Notes on the News Feed, where I read to you headlines from, uh oh, me. I was just trying to get some more airflow in here. Okay, um, where I read to you headlines um, from my news feed that I am sending over to my Twitter and my Facebook feeds. Twitter, Be Fabulous You, is where you can find all of the links to all of these articles and more. And then I just give you my thoughts. Now, my thoughts might be based on who knows just what I pulled out of my soul, or my thoughts might be based on... Um, reading the article or skimming the article, reading the paragraph, following the um, the headline or just the headline or who know or some combination of those things. But we're going to jump right in because the news just keeps right on feeding. Yay! Michael Vick says Colin Kaepernick should cut Afro if he wants an NFL job. Tesla just added the CEO of Fox's Fox News's parent company to its board. Newlyweds allegedly abducted and raped woman on their honeymoon. And I think in the article the people was in the after they had raped the you know abducted the woman and raped her, uh they was in the store naked like 7-Eleven or you know, Walmart or whatever with no clothes on. Um, Tennessee doctor who um, referred to black patient as Aunt Jemima says it was a misspoken blunder. So what's her name? Angie Jemima? Maybe her name is like Angela Mima and he was trying to say Angie Jemima. And he accidentally said Aunt Jemima. I mean, I'm just wondering. I got questions. It was a misspoken blunder. I didn't read the article. Internet trolls freak out over Apple's new Muslim hijab emoji. How a female restaurant tour is promoting healthy eating in Nigeria. Yay! A female restaurant tour. Woo! Nigeria. Woo! Healthy food. Woo! <laughs> All good things in the headline. Texas police won't use cheap drug tests that led to a ton of wrongful convictions anymore. So I don't know for how long they've been using these tests, but it was like I get it's you get the impression from I got the impression from the article that it was like common knowledge that the tests were not really that good, you know? And then people would get convicted and the only piece of evidence would be that this test said that they were using drugs. And I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, that most of the people who got convicted convicted were black and brown. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just wondering. Hold on. I got questions. So we're glad that the Texas police won't be using that anymore. But how many people have been locked up? Are they undoing the lockup of the people? For whom they don't have any evidence that what they've been convicted for is legitimate. And it ain't legit. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. A new breed of prosecutors are changing the U.S. criminal justice system from the inside out. So we've been hearing, I've read a couple of articles about um, young black folks being um, elected at, or, you know, appointed elected running for and becoming prosecutors and that you know the types what they're deciding to prosecute and not prosecute and you know kind of how they're handling things is significant and in this article I think they were focusing on Latino um, prosecutors and it's the same thing they're not going after no bullshit harassing brown and black people stuff in this particular article so it was kind of encouraging and also there was a quote from someone who said the prosecutor is the most powerful person in the country in terms of the quality of life life and death of people or something like that um, so it, it was kind of an encouraging article hold on it's funny when I say hold on because on the video you don't know really that anything has happened like, hold on, I'll be back in one minute. And I'll be back in like two seconds. Or I don't even, I, as far as you can tell, I don't go anywhere right. I love a new breed. I love progress of prosecutors. Man goes on rampage 
after getting the wrong Taco Bell order. Your gender makes a world of difference for safety on public transportation. What I thought about when I was skimming that article was the fact that most of these public transportation systems and a lot of things are designed by men. And so they're thinking about how they use things. And women, like if you have a trailer, I mean not a trailer. <laughs> You know, what's the things that you put the babies in? They not called trailers. <laughs> um, if you if you transporting babies and you know groceries or whatever women do that's different from what men do, or so, you might think about stuff that a man might not even think about. But anyway, um, and they were but they were talking specifically about safety. A lot of times I notice that to get to the women's bathroom, I have to go past the men's bathroom, or is it the other way around? No, I think it's the other way. I don't know. But sometimes I'd be feeling weird going to these bathrooms. Like, I'm just in this hallway isolated by myself and somebody could just snatch me up. Um, California lawmakers pass extension of landmark climate change law. And they're kind of talking about the fact that um, they feel that they have to show leadership as a community, as a state, because they want the world to understand that um, what's going on in the United States of America is not, can't be captured by one, um, leader. I don't know what the appropriate word is, but you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Conservative, conservative NRA personality rails against the news media in a new video. They were like the Washington Post is, you know, trying to get rid of our second amendment rights and, you know, they're the worst things in the world or whatever. Um, new parks in downtown and Morningside among city's latest outdoor developments. This is in Detroit. So it was interesting. It was about four or five different little. I like a, I like a park. I was down at um, Campus Martius, um yesterday and um, sat there and it was like the, the whole little beach scene thing. But it's like not just the beach, but then there's grass and it's a whole bunch of places to sit. And it was like when I first got there, I'm like, oh, it's going to be too hot. It's going to be too sunny. And then the seat that I ended up getting was in the shade. And I was like, I'm not going to be able to find a seat because it's so crowded. Um, and that's a whole nother conversation. But I was able to find I was basically easily able to find a seat after I got over freaking out. Like, oh, my God, I'm not going to be able to find a seat. I was able to find a seat. It was in the shade. I was comfortable. It was a nice breeze. It was peaceful. Even though there were a lot of people there, it wasn't like, you know, people are basically in their own world. So it wasn't like a, it was just peaceful. It was like, oh, you, I can see, you know, you could come and do some work, get some stuff done. It was so I, I, I like a park. Um, now our park here I told y'all is a walking park so there are no benches they like walk on around and on out so I like to walk around but it's not designed to sit and enjoy now I do see people who bring their little um, long, um, little chairs you know the chairs that you take to events they'll bring them over there and sit and read or whatever and it's, I bet you it's really nice because it's, it's a nice park right here down I love a park and I used to like to go to Prospect Park in Brooklyn and I remember when I did skate and paint that was my famous event <laughs> but that was I used to like to go and skate in the park and just chill in the park so I used to have little events in the park I remember when I did this brunch and it was like a potato brunch because I had this rest this potato recipe that everybody liked I saw whenever I do a brunch I prepare it but then I had like a, a potato everybody was you know did potato dishes white potatoes y'all terrible <laughs> but it was delicious it was delicious that was then this is now the Trump administration has quietly cut more than 213 million from teen pregnancy prevention programs at 8 feet 8 inches the tallest African American on the planet John Rogan was more than just the Negro giant July 18th, 1918, Nelson Mandela is born. Say his name, Nelson Mandela. Rest in peace. Help us from the other side, Baba. Ex-police officer charged with murder after firing rifle at car full of teenagers. Now, I thought this was someone who was not a police officer when they fired the rifle. Like, oh, they probably fired him for being a police officer because, you know, he's crazy. 
He was a police officer when he fired a rifle at a car full of teenagers. But he did get fired, and they are going to um, charge him with murder. Speeding car lands on roof of house in Missouri. Lipstick under my burqa. The film, film that was banned in India. The soul train that goes to the border and back. S-E-O-U-L, S-E-O-U-L, like Seoul, Korea. Soul train, I thought that was, that caught my attention, soul train. Emojipedia founder talks the past, present, and future of emoji. Emojipedia? <laughs> It might be very interesting. Look at me laughing and scoffing. And I don't even know anything about it. Kenya TV election debate has just one candidate. And they talk to him for an hour. Now that would probably be really helpful to like hear somebody just talk for an hour. You could probably really get a vibe on them. The Blacklist and Women in Film LA add feature film lab. The Exorcist adds Zulika Robinson as season two series regular. I didn't even know there was a show called The um, Exorcist. And this woman, Zulika Robinson, she looks brownish, blackish colored. So I was just kind of like, for those of you who know her or the show, now you know. Um, Muppet Studio fired Kermit the Frog actor for unacceptable business conduct. Broadway's 2.8 million bump, Bet, as in Bet Midler, back begets big B.O. bang. So Bet Midler comes back and they get a jump of 1.5 million just on her show. So it's like she does well on Broadway, I guess. That's what the article is saying. And I think that's it. That's what we got. Yay! I've been through the news feed. So exciting! <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking on the video, Fabulites, and sticking around for another edition of Notes on the Newsfeed. My name again is Angela, and the channel is Be Fabulous You. Thank you for thumbs upping, liking, commenting down below, subscribing, and remember to check out my Twitter feed, Be Fabulous You. And remember also to be you, be fabulous, and be fabulous you. Bye.